guys are uh, this time your boy Gadam Slink. How you guys doing? Good morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. I hope you guys are very much doing okay. So, guys, uh, there is a rumor about the popular streamer who came to Nigeria the other time and also went to Ghana but ran away because of the network issue. They're talking about none other than Kia Sinet. Well, he's back and there are much more appreciation to him for coming to Nigeria and of course, showcasing uh, how Nigeria is, the vibe and everything in West Africa, Ghana and uh, in Ghana and also in Nigeria as well. Well, big up to Kia Kines in it, but you know, one of the crazy highlights about his coming is when he decided to look for a Nigeria queen who he later said the Nigeria queen broke his heart. Well, sorry, uh, Kia Sinet. And later on, went to Ghana to get a Ghana queen. We don't really know what happened. And uh, there is no much details about that. But guess what, guys? Guess what? Guess what? There was a rumor few days before Kia Sinet came to Nigeria. There were rumor that this guy might be gay because because of his whole videos because of his whole videos and the way he acted apparently they said he might be gay i'm not saying there is anything wrong being gay or i'm not part of them i do not really uh have anything to say about it but it's the media who is making a buzz out of it so kiakinet you came here to cash crews on us to cash crews on our beautiful queens in ghana and in nigeria we never knew you never love anything that has to do with pum pum and what you love is concomba you love Kokumba, you do not love Pum Pum. We never knew that. Then why are you catching crews with our girls now? No wonder you weren't able to get any girl from Nanaija or from uh, Ghana. At least there's nobody that will come here without getting down. You weren't able to get down, not because you weren't able, because you were interested in it. You were interested in it. Come on, man. You could, you should have told us now. You should have told us. You should have told us. We would have introduced you to people like Bob Risky, Jess Brown. We have a lot of them over here. And also in Ghana too, despite, despite the new law that was passed in Ghana, but not yet signed. You can see, we can still hook you up with one of all those uh, beautiful drag queen, you know, both in Ghana and also in Nigeria as well. You should have just opened up. Just tell us. But however, he hasn't even responded to the rumor yet about him being gay. We do not know yet about that. But meanwhile, he had time to give uh, David O shout out. And the uh, Fuma as well. Fuma is, is his friend who also accompanied him. Or oh, that also had time to give David O shout out as well for David O's sweet, sweet hospitality. Sweet hospitality, and when it comes to Ghana versus Nigeria, I'm not even about to talk about that. But let us listen to some of uh, his uh, video about the trip. Ghana and Nigeria, you guys are literally oh my gosh, bro! Like Ghana and Nigeria. Let me tell you something, bro. You guys have entered top five stamp countries that i've ever been to and i've only been to a few but i'm 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 literally and I, my favorite country that i've been to personally was japan but i'm not gonna lie bro i'm not gonna lie bro africa is they, they just different like bro like let me okay let me break it down to y'all niggas real quick okay i'm gonna break it down to y'all niggas real quick here we go chat here we go ghana like, okay, Nigeria is literally, like, when I was in Nigeria, I felt like it was GTA 6 out there. I want to know why I was crying um, for, for Nigeria? No, let me fucking show you, chat. Now, let me show you, bro. This shit broke my fucking heart, nigga. Oh, my fucking God. Look, look, 
Imagine you just picked out your Nigerian queen, right? Imagine you just picked out your Nigerian queen, shit cool, shit cordial. You thinking about taking her hand, taking her there. And then a random nigga named Kwame go DM me and say, that is not your queen, bro. That's my queen, nigga. Listen to me, bro. Look at this nigga. A heartbroken. Oh my god. Yo. 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 My heart was broken, bro. Hey. Hey, look. My heart was broken. Literally. My heart was broken. I felt like I was back in 20s. Like, I, yo. I wanted to hop in the booth, bro. I, I, I wanted to hop. You want to know what song I was bumping the whole time? Sad as fuck. I don't even know this is a sad song, bro. But you want to you wanna know. You want to know what song I was bumping the whole time? Sad, bro. Look. This song right here. Sad, like this. That was uh, David Dos uh, 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 song. Well, Kiakine, you should have opened up now. You weren't even that interested. That might be a whole video of uh, Chomzi, uh, 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 Chisholm and another guy. That doesn't really, really say if she was in a relationship currently currently so let's move past that guys let's move past that i'm not about to waste time on that in this video guys let's talk about cardi b yeah cardi b is a fable superstar and of course one thing i like about cardi b is because of her ideology the way she thinks is way way different from the uh, what most of all those girls even in nigeria celebrity things Cardi B thinks that there should be a 50-50 split between couples. 50-50 split between couples. That is to say, the bills should be split 50-50 and whatever they need to do in the house should be split 50-50. That's I believe. That's what she believes. And she has been saying this not now, but for the past years that I've known Cardi B. She believes 50 50 split. Check out. Okay, so, so this is what I believe in, right? Like, Me it's too. like if, if you're going to be the type of bitch that, like, a nigga, you want a nigga to take care of you and everything, but it's like, all right, you have to, like, pick a balance. Like, it's like, you cannot just be a bitch that is like, oh, and my man take care of me. He does the bills. But it's like, what do you do? What are you contributing? Like, it's like, all right, like, you can't be complaining, like, oh, I cook, I clean every day. It's like, okay, but you don't work. You don't contribute to the house. So I just feel like it's like, so, and, like, sometimes people be like, oh, so this is, like, really controversial, right? Cool. I feel like it's very controversial when, like, be like, oh, I don't go 50-50. But it's like, all right. So if you and your man make the same amount of, of money, right? Mm -hmm. But only your man is the one that paying all the bills. How y'all ever going to save up to like buy a house or buy a business? Because he's never going to be able to afford to. So it's like certain things is like a, a joint thing to do. You, you know gotta what I'm work saying? together. Like it's, like, it's like a work together. But I just be feeling like sometimes people, like the internet really be having people fucked up from like real reality type shit. So it's like, it's like, all right, so your your mom and dad used to work every single day, right? Mm -hmm. So your mom and dad used to work every single day so your mom could save her money and what, buy purses and your dad just pay all the bills. That's not how it works. This no. is like your mom was in the house cooking and cleaning every day. Your dad was working. I know a lot of our guests have uh, left the chat. I know they do not like to hear anything that has to do with 50-50. No, it seems like a huge sickness to them. 50-50 what? They do not want to hear that. They believe if you are a man, you should be able to take care of all the bills. And we men also, I do not think guys have any trouble taking care of the bill, any complaint taking care of bills. But Joda, if I take care of the bill, it's like I'll pay you salary. So you are my worker and you have to abide to my rules and regulations. But these women do not, do not want to abide to rules and regulation, and they still want the man to pay for all the bills. Then tell me, what are we getting in return then? What are we getting in return by paying your bills? 
you should be able to give us something in return, right? We don't have issue taking care of your bills. I do not have issue taking care of a lady's bill. I want to pay. Yeah, I want to buy you stuff. Fancy stuff. Take you on a nice trip if I can. Afford it and give you a lot of stuff. But you must obey. My word. If I say I don't need this ish, you should obey. You should carry me. You should cherish me. But some of those women do not give a damn about you and they still want you to pay for every goddamn thing no loyalty and you still want to eat the guy up come on man you cannot have the two now you must pick one if you want 50 50 then when i dictate you dictate we elaborate then pick the best decision but when i pay 100 percent when i dictate you take it like a woman and say, yes, sir. Yes, sir, I'm going to follow you wherever you go. Because you are the boss, you are the rider, you are the driver. When you drive, I'm just the passenger and I'm going to obey you. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be now. That's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be, guys. That's how it's supposed to be.